Hi everybody, Angus Campbell here. So uh, another job for uh, the morning of Wednesday the 28th of uh, August. Um, just started um, uh, a small series on uh, the uh, Fury uh, barrels, but while we're awaiting uh, a tool to arrive, then uh, I thought I'd begin building up the uh, the crank as well on the uh, on the A70 Lightning. So as per the previous video, we uh, we picked up the crank recently from uh, SRM as this has had the uh, the big end journals reground to uh, to minus 30 and we now need to uh, to fit the rods and the uh, big end bearings um so let's get set up here and um I'll bring you back shortly okay so what we've got here then is the uh, A70 crank nicely polished new reground journals We've got uh, a set of minus 30 big end bearings. And then we've got a pair of new con rods. There they are. And um, the thing about these con rods is that they are the same dimensions as the A65, the 650. But they do have uh, um, metal caps, not alley, and uh, therefore these are uh, are still pretty much available. And um, these are a brand new, uh, brand new pair, and they've come with, uh, and these are new old stock, so they're originals, and they come with the uh, original uh, big end bolts, new big end bolts, and uh, and stiff nuts. Now, although um, SRM did actually uh, provide a set of uh, new big end bolts and nuts. I'm probably going to use um, the originals actually, because unlike uh, models such as the T160 etc, there were, as far as I'm aware anyway, never any uh, reports of um, of any problems with these uh, nuts and doing etc. And they are proper stiff nuts. Um, so let's get those. Uh, they are they are loose at the moment, loose-ish anyway. But they are a stiff nut, so we'll need to uh, to take those off, and then um, we'll take it from there. So I'll bring you back in a sec once I've got the caps off. Okay, that's the uh, the end caps off the. Uh, off the rods, uh, but making sure that they're still uh, matched up uh, as they uh, as they might have been uh, paired up originally. Um, <clears throat> so what we'll do now is we'll make sure everything's uh, scrupulously clean with respect to. Uh, the rods over here, which you can't quite see now, and uh, and the journals, and we'll get everything oiled up, and then we'll uh, we'll take it from there. So first things first, clean bit of uh, cloth. These should be fairly uh, these should be fairly scrupulously clean anyway, because I've just removed the uh, insulation tape that SRM placed on these journals. Similarly with respect to the uh, the rods. And then we've got the uh, the shells which were in a, a sealed pack. So let's give all this a liberal oiling. Can never give these too much. Now, 
Next job then is to um, fit the bearings into the rod and the cap and making sure that, I don't know if you see this too well, but there's the usual notch on one side of the bearing uh, to go into uh, the corresponding groove which is just here in the rod to make sure that the bearings don't spin. So we've pressed press that in like so and uh, on this side here the notch fits in the slot. Do the same with the cap. There we go. Nice tight fit. And the first one we can uh, slot on. Just ratchet this on to uh, to take up the slack initially, and then we'll we'll talk. These are half inch. Okay, so they're on there firmly, so the next job then is to uh, use the torque wrench to torque them up. And these are torqued according to all the settings in the uh, the workshop manual, these are torqued to 22 pounds. So I've got the torque wrench set to 22 pounds. We'll gently torque these up. Just taking each of them a little stage at a time. I shouldn't have to uh, put this into the vise to do this. It's 22 pounds isn't a massive setting. Quite 
quite there yet. Check I've got that right on the £22. Yep. Looks like I might have to... Uh... That's better, I can get a bit, bit more of it. There we go. A bit more leverage on this side with the um, the primary drive shaft, so I can hold it better. And there we go. Clicked. That's it. Rod moves on there nicely. Little tiny bit of side to side play we should expect, but absolutely nothing up and down. Okay, let's do the same on the other side. If in doubt, more oil. Wipe my hands. Slot the bearings in. Nuts on. Just use the ratchet to ratchet to tighten these up loosely.
Okay, they're firm, so then we'll transfer that to the torque wrench. Check we're still at 22. 22 foot pounds. Yep. And gently torque them up a little at a time. Okay, torqued up, nice and smooth. Little side to side, which you can hear there, which is normal. Nothing perceptible up and down. And that's without without oil pressure. So there we go. Um, that's that job done. Now these are the factory uh, stiff nuts. But what uh, I tend to do is I do tend to uh, to give these a punch. It's never happened to me that these have come undone um, on an A65, um, but they have on um, a T160. Okay. There we go. That all feels nice. That's the um, that's the first job done then in um, the build up of the uh, the A seventy Lightning motor. Um, normally, what I do before I put the crank into uh, the crank cases is that um, I do uh, fit the pistons. I'm not going to do that today though because we do have a honing job to do on the uh, A70 barrel so that will be the next job and to check the piston fitment and the ring fitment in the A70 barrels. So we won't fit the pistons just yet um, and as I say we're still awaiting hopefully uh, the receipt um, today of the, uh, the bore gauge uh, which we'll also need. So what we'll do is uh, leave this uh, where we are at the moment. So that's the first job done. So we're on our way, beginning to build up the A70 again. So that's uh, quite a good feeling. And uh, in the next video then, we'll focus on um, the, the barrels and the pistons. And we'll take it from there. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. Um, see you again soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, quick postscript, the uh, the dial gauge, the bore dial gauge has, uh, has just arrived, so I've just been uh, messing about uh, setting it up, so that uh, initially, in this case, it's the uh, it's got the right uh, adapters at the bottom end here for the uh, the bore of the uh, of the Fury. But anyway, that's arrived, so we're knowing that the next jobs then uh, for both the Fury and the A70 Lightning. Um, are to uh, to measure up the bores and uh, begin to uh, hone. So see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching. See you again soon. Cheers. Bye.